the prevalence, um, according to the Centers for Disease Control in the United States, are now 1 in 68. And the good news is that there's no change since 2012. Um, at least from 2012 to 2016, there hasn't been any change in the overall incidence or prevalence of autism spectrum disorders. So that takes us to our um, to our second question, uh, poll question that I'd like you to answer. Uh, what are you most interested in learning about today? Again, this helps me kind of tune in to you. Um, what the new research has to say about causes of, in, of autism, what's going on in the brains of children and adults with autism, what can be done to help improve, a, a ten, improve attention, memory, language, and social skills, or something else. So think about that for a minute. Um, and then click it on the correct circle and the submit button. And with that, we have almost three quarters of you wanting to know, whoops, sorry, I went a little too fast there, wanting to know what can be done about it. And of course, that's always our major concern. Um, and so you are interested in causes and you are interested a little bit in um, the brains, but we will focus on what can be done then for all of you after we get through some of the preliminary uh, causation research. Now, just so you can see on this slide, um, the incidence of, or the prevalence, sorry, of autism spectrum disorder has increased, did increase dramatically from 2000 to 2012, um, and it increased from 1 in 150 to 1 in 68. That's almost a three-fold increase. Uh, and we want to address that a little bit so that especially the parents, but also those of you who treat it, know what researchers are looking at for in terms of causation, causation so parents don't um, aren't prey to uh, information that might not be accurate or to approaches that might not help their child. Just a few other statistics here, and this is from the Center for Disease Control. Um, autism spectrum disorder is about four and a half times more common among boys. And what you're going to learn today is that's because of the genetics uh, that go into the causation. Um, it's reported to occur relatively equally in all racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups, so there's no difference in terms of racial distinctions or ethnic or socioeconomic. And about one in six in the United States have some kind of a developmental disability. 